बंडल ब्रांच ब्लॉक बंडल ब्रांच ब्लॉक राइट बंडल ब्रांच ब्लॉक आर आर बी वी एंड लेफ्ट बंडल ब्रांच ब्लॉक इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस टू यू दैट यू नो द एग्जैक्ट मैकेनिज्म ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द बंडल ब्रांच ब्लॉक especially right bundle branch block which is produced in the ecg w shape pattern and left bundle branch block it is produced a shape in left ventricular lead especially in v6 hmm? they produce a huh? m shape to know the exact mechanism of the production of the right bundle branch block and left bundle branch block or typical ecg form a basic principle of the ecg is very cheap, essential and yesterday we discussed to you about the sex basic principle of the ecg in today's we are going to discuss about the bundle branch block before our discussing to the bundle branch block it is very important to know about the when the wave of depolarization is generated from the sl root hmm? this wave of depolarization is moving toward the right atrium and they lead to atrial depolarizations huh? after the atrial depolarization they lead to av nodal depolarization as soon as the av nodal is depolarized this electrical impulse impulse is exiting hmm? or releasing from av node into the haze bundle hmm? from the haze bundle they are moving toward the right and left bundle band huh? and then from this point the ventricular depolarization is Sorry. starting huh? sometimes if each wave of depolarization reaches into the interventricular septum huh? normally huh? the interval between the p wave from the beginning of the p wave and the, the first deflection of the qrs complex would be normal huh? normal now if there is a abnormal conduction through one of the right bundle branch or left bundle branch they lead to huh? they lead to a problem which is called huh? bundle, bundle, bundle branch block <laughs> if this problem or if this blockage or if this delay is occurring in left bundle branch huh? they call left bundle branch block if it occurring in the huh? right bundle mm -hmm. branch block they lead to huh? right bundle branch block huh? they lead to right bundle branch block if there is bundle branch block was present what is really happen in the heart the heart is contracting with a difficulty with a problem they cannot contract nicely huh? they produce during the contraction a problem so they may disturb the effective cardiac output they produce a problem in the production of the cardiac out output so now the wave of depolarization is reached to the interventricular septum and the first part of the ventricle which is depolarized in the ventricle is a septum after the after the septum the major part which is depolarized is apex after the apex huh, the basal part is depolarized huh? now now the conduction problem if there is abnormal conduction through one of the right or left bundle branch block huh, it is occurring what is really happen after the bundle branch block what type of the problem is produced in the ventricles first huh? first when one part is blocked this block may lead to a delay of the depolarization to the some another part of the ventricles huh? when the bundle branch block is occurred this delay or this block lead to a delay of the part of the depolarization of the ventricles Huh? and when whole ventricle is depolarized it takes longer times so if there is a bundle branch block is present this bundle branch block is lead to delay of the part of the depolarization of the one of the ventricles so when whole ventricle is required for their depolarization a time duration for the whole ventricular depolarization is take much longer time so that they lead to widening of the qrs complex so a key pattern or the exact mechanism or the ecg pattern of patient who is having bundle branch block is a widening of the qrs complex 
Now I think you understand the mechanism of production of the QRS complex. Normal duration of the QRS complex is less than 120 millisecond or less than 112 second huh? or it's representative of three small squares or sometimes it may reach up to huh? up to four or five square but not more than 0.12 seconds so if the duration of the QRS complex is become prolonged it means this patient is having a huh? wide QRS complex and wide QRS complex is a key point or the key feature of the ECG of bundle branch block is wide QRS complex is a wide QRS complex is a wide QRS complex now, if the wave of depolarization is starting from right bundle branch block and reach to the farthest part of the ventricular myocardium, it takes a time duration uh, 0.12 seconds. If this time duration is becoming cheap, prolonged, it leads to bundle branch block. The ECG pattern of bundle branch block is a wide QRS complex. Uh, is a wide QRS complex. If you will check or you will take the ECG of the patient and then you want to interpret this ECG of the patient, first of all, you should care about the, the duration of the QRS complex. If the QRS complex is having a duration less than three small squares, it indicates this patient is having a normal QRS complex. They does not show any bundle branch block in right and left. If the QRS complex duration is becoming prolonged in the normal, it indicates bundle branch block. Mm -hmm. So sometimes just this bundle branch block cannot be lead to or, can, or does not lead to wide QRS complex. The wide QRS complex may also occur in those type of people in which the wave of depolarization begin from the ventricular myocardial cells. So the, the, the causes of the wideness of the QRS complex are divided into categories. One is bundle branch block. The second, when the retum, huh? begins from ventricular myocardial cell. For example, ventricular tachycardia. Ventricular tachycardia, we have got this type of. This is also indicate wide QRS complex. Huh? Wide QRS complex. But this time, it does not indicate bundle branch block. And this time, the ectopic beat is starting from the ventricular myocardial cell. When the electrical impulse is generated from the ventricular cells, and the ventricular cell is originate the Ventricular depolarization, they may also lead to wideness of the QRS complex and it does not indicate bundle branch block. So wideness of the QRS complex is having two sources. One is bundle branch block. Another if the origin of depolarization is starting from the ventricular myocardial self. This is a point that we should care during the interpretation of the chi, ECG. interpretation of the ECG. Now again, the right bundle branch block, right bundle branch block, is often indicate is often indicate a problem of the right ventricles right right bundle branch block is often indicate a problem right bundle branch block right bundle branch block huh? is often uh -huh, is often indicate hmm? indicate of right ventricle problem huh? right ventricular problem but left bundle branch block but left bundle branch block is always hmm? is always indicate of left ventricle left ventricular disease right ventricle right bundle branch block is often indicate a right ventricle problem but left ventricle left bundle branch block is always cheap is always indicate left ventricular diseases uh -huh. huh? left ventricular diseases so if you are interpreting the ecg on you are having a right bundle branch block hmm, with a normal duration even the duration is becoming less than 0.12 second it may be in the, it, it is an indication of the chi it is indication of the chest a normal heart sometimes if the qrs complex duration in right bundle branch block <coughs> is becoming less than 0.12 second it is indication of the chest indication of the right ventricular chi, normal right ventricle so the right bundle branch block is not as much as important to the left bundle branch block if you are facing to the left bundle branch block it means this patient is having some left ventricular 
diseases. So the, when you are having leg bundle bronch block the ECG, there is no need for further interpretation. It means the patient is having some problem and it need for further investigation to find the underlying cause of the left bundle branch block. For example, infarction, the need for angiography, or for example, cardiomyopathy, or for example, hypertension, and they need more interpretation. So the mechanism by which the right bundle branch block is produced, W pattern, and right ventricular lead, particularly in V1 and V2. And in left bundle branch block, they produce the shape of the M of the letter or the shape of the M, it may present in the V5 and V6. So V1, huh? V1, uh -huh. V1, V1 is indication of chest, right. indication of right ventricular lead, right ventricular lead. V6 is lead. left ventricular lead, left ventricular lead. Huh? The mechanism by which produce uh, right bundle branch block and left bundle branch block, it needs a basic and principle of the ECG. Just, I review three of them. First of all, uh, the positive charge is moving toward the positive electrode. The positive charge uh, is moving, uh, is moving toward the positive yeah. electrode. The deflection would be positive. Right. Mm -hmm. So, during the ventricular depolarization, the depolarization of the ventricle is having three stages. The first stage of ventricular depolarization is related to the septum. 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 Huh? Septum. Septum. When the wave of depolarization is exiting, is exiting from the AV node and entering to the haze bundle and then move toward the right and left bundle branch blocks. The first part of the ventricle which is depolarized is septum. Septum the first. After the septum, huh, they lead to depolarization of the major part of the ventricle. Major part of the ventricle is apex. apex. After the major part of the ventricle which is apex, then it leads to depolarization of the basal part. So ventricular depolarization is having three stages, septal, apex, and basal part. Septal, apex, and basal part. So the first principle of the ECG was when the positive charge is moving toward the positive, the deflection is positive. But you should remember, septal ventricular depolarization, septal ventricular depolarization, is a start from left to the, from left to the right, from left to the right. It means this septum, this septum is depolarized by the left bundle branch normally. Huh? The septum is depolarized normally by left bundle branch, but it does not stimulate or depolarize by right bundle, right bundle branch. Normally, septum is depolarized by the left bundle branch. It does not stimulate by the right bundle branch. When the septum is stimulated, the wave of depolarization is moving like this from right, from left, sure. left bundle to the right, and from down to up. Oh. This was very important. You should also memorize this principle, particularly in normal <coughs> heart. In normal heart, the ventricle, the, the ventricle is depolarized in a three stage. The first stage is really related to the yes, septal yes, ventricular yes. depolarization. Septum is depolarized by the left bundle branch. It does not stimulate by the right bundle branch. The septum depolarization is a start from the left side to the right side and from down to the up. This was the second principle of the ECG. Huh? Second principle of the septum. Septum, the septum is depolarized by left bundle, left bundle branch from left, from left to the, to the right, and from down from down, from down to 
up. Now later on you will see when we will we'll talk about the production, the mechanism, the mechanism of production of the bundle branch block. And the last principle, which is very important during the production of the bundle branch block or in the mechanism of the bundle branch block is, huh, is the left ventricle, the left ventricle, left ventricle is thicker, thicker than the right ventricle. This is one, so that left ventricle is having, huh, is having a greater mass of the muscle. The left ventricle is having a greater mass of the muscle than the right ventricle. So, left ventricle exam more influence on the ECG. Now, I just said, the left ventricle is thicker than the right ventricle. So, the left ventricle mass, huh? mass of the muscle, mass of the muscle of the left ventricle is greater than the right ventricle. Than the, uh, than the right ventricle. Mm -hmm. Than the right ventricle. For example, this part of the muscle which is related to the left ventricle is thicker than the right ventricle. So in the ECG, hmm? in the ECG, left ventricle is having a greater mass of the muscle. So it exerts more influence on the ECG than the right ventricle. This is another thing. So the last thing that I am discussing to you, during the normal ventricular depolarization, during the normal ventricular depolarization, huh? right ventricle and left ventricle are having electrical network or they are having a gap junction or they are having electrical window or they are having chi electrical connection. So when both of these ventricles are activated at the same time, huh? simultaneously, and they produce synchronization. This property of the ventricle is called synchronization. But during bundle branch block, during bundle branch block, this synchronization is this term. Some in right bundle branch block, left ventricle is depolarized or activated first than the right ventricle. Huh? In, the left, in right bundle branch block. In left bundle branch block, the right ventricle is depolarized before the left ventricle. So, one of the most important thing that I insist on that, in patient with bundle branch block, syn normal synchronization of the heart is this term. In the cases of the left bundle branch block. In the cases of the left bundle branch block, the right ventricle is uh, activated first and then the left ventricle is activated. In the cases of the right bundle branch block, first the left ventricle is activated and then the right ventricle is activated. It means synchronization is disturbed. Both ventricle is not activated at the same times and simultaneous contraction of the ventricle is disturbed. This is another principle that we should know when we are discussing the bundle branch block. That is, uh -huh. This was a three or four basic principle which is very important during formation of the ECG pattern of the right and left bundle branch block. Now, after that, conduction. Mm -hmm. Conduction.